Amnesty International made call regarding Azerbaijan COP29 agreement must guarantee human rights. The UN, the organizer of the COP29 climate summit to be held in Baku in November, should include human rights issues in the host country agreement HCA with Azerbaijan. Amnesty International Human Rights Organization made such a call. According to the organization's position, after the agreement is signed, it should be made public so that potential participants can assess the risks they may face in the event. Amnesty International reports that despite continuous efforts, the host country of last year's climate summit was only able to achieve the agreement recently. The agreement was signed between the United Arab Emirates and the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Amnesty states in the said document that there are serious deficiencies in terms of guaranteeing the rights of the participants of the event in Dubai. This increases concern that the agreement with the government of Azerbaijan will also be flawed in terms of protecting human rights and civil society activity at COP 29 and will not be disclosed to the public before the signing, the statement said. Amnesty International's climate policy advisor, Anne Harrison, said that the HCA between the UN and Azerbaijan should ensure that all human rights are protected and respected both inside and outside the venue. This includes freedom of expression and free assembly. This is especially important because the Azerbaijani authorities recently intensified the pressure and detained journalists, human rights defenders and climate activists. Harrison added that considering the gross human rights violations committed by the Azerbaijani government, the UNHCA agreement with Azerbaijan should be made public immediately after signing. This is important to assess how civil activism is maintained at COP29. Harrison calls on the relevant US Secretariat to also post all past and future HCA documents on its website in the interest of transparency. It is emphasized that Azerbaijan should also publish this document. Amnesty International has documented how previous COP climate summits, including those held in Poland, Spain, the UK, Egypt and the UAE, have restricted freedoms of expression and free assembly. The organization emphasizes that it has registered a gross violation of these rights in Azerbaijan and this issue is causing concern for the security of the participants of this year's COP summit. COP29 will be held in Baku from November the 11th to the 22nd. The Azerbaijani authorities have said that basic rights and freedoms are fully guaranteed in the country and have not accepted the criticisms of international human rights organizations. It was said that no one in the country has experienced political pressure due to their professional activities. However, since November of last year, up to 20 journalists and social activists, including employees of Canal 13, Toplam TV and Abzaz Media Publications, have been arrested in groups on charges of smuggling. They do not agree with the accusation, explaining it by professional activities and political order. The detained journalists mainly conducted investigations that exposed corruption in the upper echelons of the government. Materials related to arrest of head of Channel 13 will be sent to European Court of Human Rights. The Baku Court of Appeal of Azerbaijan rejected the appeal of the extension of the prison term of Channel 13 Internet Television Head Aziz Oridov. The complaint was filed against the decision of the Sabail District Court dated June the 25th to extend the prison term of Oridov and TV employee Shamo Eminov for another three months until September the 27th. Lawyer Fakhreddin Mediev told Voice of America that during the trial, Orijov said that his arrest and detention were illegal. Orijov said that the accusations of foreign currency smuggling are groundless and that they are not confirmed by valid evidence. He said that the criminal case was falsified and he was persecuted for his journalistic activities. Lawyer Mediev noted that the defense intends to send materials to the European Court of Human Rights in addition to the previously filed complaint about the detention of the journalist. Aziz Orijov, the head of Canal 13 Internet Television, was detained on November the 27th last year. Accusation under Articles 188.2 
violation of the right to ownership, use or lease of land, carrying out arbitrary construction or installation works on a plot of land without a lease right, and 206.3.2 smuggling by a group of persons who colluded in advance of the criminal code, Aziz Orijov denies the accusations and says that his arrest was aimed at restricting journalistic activities. Access to the website of Channel 13 in Azerbaijan was restricted by a court decision on December the 11th. Shamo Eminov, an employee of Channel 13 Internet Television, was arrested in December of last year and a criminal case was opened against him for smuggling. Reporters Without Borders, Amnesty International, the European Federation of Journalists and a number of other local and international human rights organizations, the Special Representative of the European Union on Human Rights, as well as the Rapporteurs of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, called on the Azerbaijani authorities to stop the pressure on independent media and release the arrested journalists. Azerbaijani officials evaluate such calls and criticisms as interference in the internal affairs of Azerbaijan, the investigative process and the independence of the judiciary and note that fundamental rights and freedoms as well as media freedom are fully ensured in Azerbaijan.